Hey guys, this is Anand and I am the founder of Acoustica International and you are watching Hearing Tech Updates. This channel has been specifically designed to bring to you with all the regular updates about hearing instrument technology. And today, I am glad that I have my co-founder Mr. Vishwajit Vishnu with me. Here, Mr. Vishwajit Vishnu. Thank you very much for introducing me. Hey guys, I am Vishnu, the co-founder of Acoustica International. So I will be taking you through the journey of regular updates in the hearing aid industry. So do keep on watching our channel, Hearing Tech Updates. And yes, please do not miss to subscribe our channel, Hearing Tech Updates. So guys, now the basic question, why are we here? Today, we are here to discuss really, really important points as why a hearing instrument is important, what makes it great, what makes it nice and blah 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 all these questions and today we will be discussing with Mr. Vishnu. In the videos to come, Mr. Vishnu will be throwing some important lights on the key features of the hearing instruments which makes that hearing instrument very very important and special. Okay, so I will just ask few questions from Vishnu and then maybe he can take over. So Vishnu, uh, tell me why do you think that uh, a person should buy a hearing aid worth say 25,000 rupees and why he should not buy uh, 10,000 rupees worth of hearing aid or if the if I put the question in the same way, why a person should go for a higher end that is 5 lakh worth of hearing instruments and why he should not buy uh, 1 lakh worth of hearing instruments. Great, see you have come up with a great question. To answer this question, it is very important to understand that why is a hearing aid needed in the first place? Exactly. Then comes the point that uh, the cost of the hearing aid or the different technologies available, the different brands available. So let's first understand that why a hearing instrument is required at all. So and to answer this question, I would like to bring some numbers in front of you. Okay. In our country more than 10% population is hearing impaired mm -hmm. and that brings us a number of close to 13 crores in the country. <laughs> that's tremendous. That's a, that's a big number. That's tremendous. That's, that's tremendous. tremendous. Yeah. Now you would be amazed to know that not even 3% of them has been fitted with a hearing instrument. And I'll stop you. Uh, do we have a data for this? Yes, the data I am discussing is from the World Health Organization WHO's website. So this has been researched. There is less than 3% penetration of hearing instruments to the people who actually require a hearing aid day and night. So now I would like to tell you that whenever there is this hearing impairment, a person has to suffer a lot. So he gets socially disconnected. Dementia is one problem which people face with okay. hearing loss. Mm -hmm. They cannot converse. Your complete life is solidary after that. Yeah. So we need to understand a hearing aid does not only brings your hearing back, it gives you your life back. Amazing, amazing. So now when we talk about hearing instruments, we do have different types of instruments available um, today in India. So let's talk about Indian market. Sure. We have we have hearing instruments starting from close to 10,000 rupees which goes up to 3 lakh rupees, um, 3 lakh Indian rupees. 3 lakhs. Yeah. Yes. So the technology comes in different price points. Uh, it is available uh, in different technical features, technical variants and I'll tell you that it is worth the money. And my question is how do you actually distinguish between the two? I mean, I'll repeat my question. How do you actually distinguish about the, uh, you know, worth of the uh, hearing instrument? Why, uh, as my earlier question, why a person should pay more and why, you know, he should not pay less? I got so it. So how, how that, that, does that depend upon the technology? Huh. So a lot of people think that it depends on the shape of the hearing aid. Yeah, if the hearing I, I know a couple of people who actually think that okay, this is a smaller one, so it must be cheaper or it must be Correct. of a higher cost. And you know, yeah. there are certain kind of Correct. So that's a myth. People think that uh, a hearing instrument which is invisible, which goes inside would be expensive. So let me tell you, it is not the case. 
The price of the hearing aid completely depends on the features, the technology available in them. Just to give you a little idea about how the price pricing has been done for these products. Mm. So uh, a hearing aid which is less than 15,000, in most of the cases it is non-digital hearing instruments. Mm. You still get digital sound clarity but it cannot be fully programmed with the computer, with, with a, a programmer. Mostly 15,000 to 35,000 hearing aids are very basic sound quality hearing aid. They are fully digital, they can be programmed as per your hearing loss, but they are the entry level digital product. So it depends, it also depends on your lifestyle. Yeah. If you have to always be inside the home, if, if uh, one is a very old age a person not going out of the home, mm -hmm. this hearing aid would do fairly good. Mm. But as you need higher sound clarity, if you are switching between the environments too quickly, then you might need a better technology hearing aid. So the advanced quality of hearing aid comes in the price range of 30, 35,000 rupees to a lakh rupees. Oh, I see. And this hearing aid can switch between the environments. This can give you a very precise sound clarity. And then we have the third category, the premium range of products. The premium range of products are, pre are priced between 1 lakh rupees to 3, 3.5 three lakh rupees. These technologies have superb sound clarity. They are next to natural sound clarity. Yeah, so now it also comes with mobile connectivity, rechargeability. You can control the hearing aid with your mobile application. So. It is, it is really worth your money. It is not only a hearing aid, it is one step ahead. So it would not be bad to say that it's as good as, a, as you know, any other digital technology exactly, product. Exactly, exactly. These days hearing instruments are not limited to hearing amplification. It is an extension of human body. You control uh, um, the hearing instrument with your phone. Your, you take your phone calls in the hearing aid. You can listen to music in the hearing instrument. So Bluetooth streaming is there, rechargeability is there. Mm -hmm. It can also track your health. So there are different functionalities available in the hearing instrument these days. And uh, this can bring a person back into life. So it is actually a great help to the people who are suffering with hearing loss.